Welcome to another edition of My Opinion here on My Opinion TV. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell so as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. And this morning, we want to give you an update on two previously carried stories and one new. The first updated story we want to give you the news on is as it relates to the bus driver who took down two hoodlums um, yesterday. So the police is reporting that at about 8.20 p.m. yesterday, a bus um, was plying its route to Spanish Town. When three men boarded the bus, they decided to rob the conductor. After they robbed the conductor of $4,000, they was about to make their escape. They pointed a gun at the driver, who was a licensed firearm holder. The fire was returned. All three was hit two fatally one turned up at hospital later on um with a wound to the shoulder he was treated and released into the custody of the police one of those found dead was found with clutching a, a firearm and uh, the police came on scene did it relevant investigation and we can only commend the driver and we hope the government will realize and try to give this driver an award for bravery. And as we have known for years now, and as the crime monster becomes so um, deadly in Jamaica, we see more persons taking the route of harming themselves via the licensed firearm route. And we see when these gunmen come up against persons who are willing to defend themselves, most times than not, these gunmen comes, come out on the losing side. And this number six bus road, I think it plies Bayside to Spanish Town. And for a number of times, these men from Central Village attack and rob these buses on regularly. For years now, this has been going on. And based on what my intelligence also told me, it was only Tuesday night they also robbed the bus um, right out there. So whenever the bus is coming down, going into Spanish Town, they rob the bus between White Mall, Central Village location right there and make good their escape. But this time, these three men were not lucky and the bravery and the quick thinking of a firearm holder who was the bus driver decided to take them on. And in the end, you know what was the result? Those three Two of them lost their life. A third one um, was injured and turned over to the police. So we want to applaud this bus driver and we want to tell him well done. And we hope more and more persons will get themselves properly armed as we stem to fight the crime monster that is reaping, reaping havoc in Jamaica, especially to law-abiding, unharmed citizens. They are the ones feeling the blunt of these criminals especially now it's coming down to the christmas season you have to be very careful as these um woodlums try to earn uh, live earn earn money that they have not worked hard for but that's the update on that case it was actually the bus driver two of them were shot and killed a third was injured. He turned up at the hospital. He was treated and handed over to the police. But let me know what you think in the comment section. The other bit of news we want to follow up on is the St. Catherine North Police have charged 31-year-old Robert Thompson, an inmate at the St. Catherine Adult Correctional Center, with murder, introducing contraband in a penal institution, and assault at common law, following the death of a correctional officer at the Spanish Town Base Prison. And as we knew, um, the correctional officer, Jamil Wisney, was attending to prisoners when Thompson used a sharp object and stabbed him to, in his back. He was pronounced dead at hospital. Now, Thompson was charged following an interview with his attorney, a date for his appearance in court. Is being finalized by the police so warder jamil wisney who was killed westney rather was killed recently um friday november 13 at the spanish town um prison 
or St. Catherine Adult Correctional Center for its correct name. Now, the police have now charged the prisoner who committed that act and a court date is being finalized for him. Westney, who was one of those um, metropolitan police, decided to quit that job because of his kids telling him how dangerous it is and he wanted a safer job. He enrolled to become a correctional officer and not even two months good on the job he end up lost his life to this woodlum in the prison system and we hope that all we they'll pull out all the stops to make sure we don't see this prisoner robert thompson anymore so we offer our own condolences to the family of 32 year old jamil westney the the correctional officer who was killed but that's an update as it relates to um the killer the killer is 31 year old robert thompson and he was an inmate at the saint catherine adult correctional center and with that incident he is now charged with murder introducing contraband in a penal institution and assault at common law so that's an update as it relates to that and we give you more update as time progresses and we hear more information well the other situation i want to talk about is not an update but it's regarding the death of a 63 year old businesswoman stabbed to death in mandeville and the parish of manchester has come under scrutiny as of late because for the start of the year i think so far i think maybe about five or six business persons have lost their lives in the parish of Manchester so far. And the police are saying 63-year-old Marcia Chin Yu, a businesswoman and a resident of Ingleside Close in Mandeville, was found at about 8.30 yesterday by neighbors seated in her car with multiple stab wounds. The vehicle was, was found in her driveway of her Ingleside home. And based on what we are hearing, Ingleside is like an upscale community down there in Mandeville. And based on what we can confirm is that it appears as if she was ambushed as she reached home and murdered by Woodlum. So the police are at this time processing the crime scene. They took Chin Yu's body to hospital where she was confirmed dead and we hope that the police will continue to do its investigation detectives are returning to the scene this morning based on what we are hearing and i hope they'll find a motive for the killing they'll track down the killers of this woman and as we always say these killers most time they have nothing to offer to society per they go after persons who are offering jobs and anything that is positive to the positive to the society these hoodlums go after so clearly they want to destroy this country and destroy all positive people and people who have some form of substance that can benefit the community so we hope that the police will track down this this these killers this woman 63 year old elderly lady murdered stabbed um, repeatedly and left to die in her car down there in Mandeville and you know when you look at the old crime situation in Jamaica no one seems to be untouchable now no area can say that um, crime isn't a problem because once um, in previous years you would not hear of certain areas crime being committed but now crime is all over no community is safe there's no such safe haven community but we hope that the government we hope that the police we hope that all stops will be pulled out to make sure we get this monster out of our society and as we have seen that the anti-gang legislation has been passed and according to the security minister more arrests will be made and more of these woodlums will be sent away in prison for a long time. Well, we can only hope 
and we can only pray that the situation will get better but you can let me know what you think in the comment section don't forget to like share subscribe and click the notification bell so as soon as a video is released you'll be one of the first to be notified until next time be safe look out for the children and always look out for a family member and look out for your neighbor